So when we're doing gravity, once again, you're going to start with G. G is 9.8 meters per second. If it's in feet per second, it's 32 feet per second. Uh, in this second squared. In this particular problem, we want to do this with meters per second. So I'm crossing this out because that's a typo. We're going to use this particular one. Note that V sub zero is initial velocity. H sub zero is initial height. In this problem, it says it's thrown, uh, the ball is thrown upward from a height of 15 meters. That's our H naught. And our initial velocity is 20 meters per second. That's our V naught. So I'm just going to replace the G, the V naught, and the H naught in the equation. And it looks like this. So do you guys see how I just replaced those three numbers into the equation? Yeah. Okay. So if I were to simplify that out, this would actually end up being negative 4.9 t squared plus 20t plus 15. Okay. So part B is asking how high is the ball after three seconds? Yeah, so you're just going to put 3 into the t. So it'll be h of 3 equals negative 4.9 3 squared plus 20 times 3 plus 15. So what did you guys get for that? I had 30.9. So it went to a height of 30.9 meters. Okay. So next it says, when will the ball hit the ground? Well, think about it. Here's the ground. You threw the ball, and it goes up, 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 up. It's coming down, 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 down. What does that look like? Parabola. Parabola. And what are these points right here? Zero. So what do we got to find? Yep, we got to find the zeros. And how do we find the zeros? Quadratic formula. Okay. <laughs> so A in this case is negative 4.9, B is 20, and C is 15. So if I put that into my quadratic formula, I have negative 20 plus or minus the square root 20 squared minus 4 times negative 4.9 times 15 all over 2 times negative 4.9 Okay, so I'm going to leave that 20 as a negative. I'm just going to take the parentheses out. 20 squared. 400. Good. The next part is 294, and it's going to end up being a positive because it's two negatives in here. So it's going to be plus 294 all over negative 9.8. So this becomes negative 20 plus or minus the square root of 694 and then if you end up taking the square root of 694 I got 26.3 
And my two answers were negative 0 0.64 and 4.7. And these are in seconds. Yep, 4.7. All right, can I have negative time? No. No, so what happens to that first one? We're going to ixnay it, right? Okay, so my answer is going to have to be this one right here. All right. Any questions about that? Okay, we're going to do this again. One more time. So this one is in feet per second. So we're going to use the 32 feet per second uh, squared for the gravity. Okay. So a projectile is shot from a tower of 10 feet high. There's your H naught with a velocity of 100 feet per second, that's your V naught. So if I write this out, I have H of T equals negative 1 half 32. Um, if you go back to the top of the page, you'll see that the original, I can get there, it's not working very fastly for me. See right here? There's your negative one half. Okay? Good question. 32 is our G, which is our gravity. Okay? And then T squared. Um, then we're going to have our original V naught on this, which is 100, so it'll be plus 100 T. And then we went 10 feet high, so plus T, or plus 10, sorry. So there's our original equation. If I were to simplify this first part, it's just going to be negative 16 t squared plus 100 t plus 10. One thing I can guarantee you guys is this is on the MCA. Wait, yep, if you've already taken them, then awesome, and I guarantee you it will be on the ACTs as well. Yeah, if, if you're a junior, you take MCAs. No. It says, how long will the projectile be in the air? In other words, when will it reach the ground again? So I need to do what? X intercepts, right? So I'm going to use my quadratic formula on that one. Okay? You guys, I'm not going to take the time to go through this right now because it takes time. I want to go through some other stuff. But you know that A is negative 16. B is 100, and C is 10, okay? So if you want to take the time to go through that and stick it into your calculators, you can do that. Yep, you're going to do the same thing as what we did up here, but with these numbers, All right. okay? Okay. Down below, there's quite a bit of typos in it, so I'm just going to tell you. Okay, it says, there are two ways to fit a quadratic uh, model to data. One way is to, cross the rest of that out, identify specific points and set up a system of equations. And the other way is to use quadratic regression on your calculator or on Excel. All right. So if you have at least three points, you can pretty much do a quadratic regression. I'm going to show you how to set up the system of equations on this. I'm not actually going to solve them. I don't want to take the time to do that. If you guys still need help with systems, because that's been a while that you've done it, then maybe we can take some time uh, next week to look at them again. Okay? But basically, 
Uh, we have three points right here, right? All right, so remember that we're looking at y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, right? We don't know a, b, and c, but we know our y's and x's. We have three of them. So let's take the first point right here, and we're going to put that in. So 9, negative 9 equals a to the 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. I'm just replacing my x's with this one here, replace my y with that negative 9. Okay, that's the same thing as if I were to write it again, negative 9 equals, what's 1 times, 1 times 1? 1 times a, it's just a, right? Right here, it's an arrow. Okay. Yep, plus B plus C. Okay, so now I'm going to do it for the second point. That's right here. This will be negative 4 equals A times 6 squared plus B times 6 plus C. So this will be negative 4 equals 36A plus 6B plus C. You guys see how I'm doing this? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to do it for this equation right here. I have 12.12 equals a times negative 0 0.2 squared plus b times 0 0.2, negative 0 0.2 plus c. And that becomes this. Oops, and this one's going to be a minus. Oops. Minus 0.2b plus c. Okay. So if you do simultaneous equations, remember doing those from algebra, you can solve for a, b, and c. Or you can use a matrix, if you guys know how to use matrices. Okay, that's another way you can do it. <coughs> All right, um, the last way is the much easier way, of course, and that's putting them into your calculator and doing quadratic regression.